Um, so it's your girl April, and today is going to be a review for some cosmetics. <clears throat> hey, love, it's your girl April, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to actually be doing a review slash swatch for a new cosmetic line. Was well, not new, but it will be new out here in the United States. And this is Black Op Cosmetics, which is geared to women of color. So when it means women of color, it does not actually mean just geared to African American women. It means women of color. So there are a range, a range, a range of different color um, complexion foundations, which are just more suitable for women of color. I will be doing some makeup looks with this really, really soon to come. But the first thing I wanted to share with you is some swatches, and you guys can check that out. I'll also post their information for you guys below, and you can check them out as well. You have on some of the products, which is actually this Sublime powder, um, Sublime powder that I have on, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to show you this right here. So everything comes in these cute little black boxes, um, and it does have, actually they don't have names for the products like you would see MAC has a name. These actually have numbers, so you'd find the actual product number on the side. So this here is the um, Sublime powder, and it's actually to me, what I would take this as a silky loose highlighting powder. I would use this either on my cheeks or as a highlight. The color is gorgeous. So this is the actual compact that it comes in and it's super cute, really sleek, black. There is a mirror inside, but oh my goodness, this color is to die for. I really, really love this color a lot. It's actually taken over my favorite color, which was actually by MAC, which was Trace of Gold. It was kind of like a blush, but I loved using it as a highlighter. And when I got this, I said, you know what, I'm probably not going to go back and buy the MAC one anymore because this one is like just even more gorgeous. So the color is so pretty. Um, and I want you guys to see it. Like, Oh, so pretty. So it's like a light shimmer. It's just a gorgeous color. And I know that this would probably look great on any color skin tone. I have it on right now. And you probably can't really see too well on camera. But I love it as a highlighter. You probably could put it anywhere. I put it on like the bridge of my nose. On my cupid's um, bow. Or my forehead area. It's a really great powder um, shimmer. And I really would highly recommend it. So this is the 5 eyeshadow palette. And the colors are very rich and just vibrant. When I say vibrant, I mean bright and just like rich. They're really rich colors and they're so pretty for this coming fall. Very neutral. You have a nice mirror as well as you have a sponge, applicator sponge right here. But the colors are very, very rich and pretty and very fall-like. Now this one here, my pinky, is like the darkest one at the bottom, which is so chocolatey. It's very, very chocolatey. And for my thumb, it's actually this one, which probably is not going to show up or appear that well on the camera with the light. But the colors are like really, just like really rich colors. Very great consistency, but the color payoff is like bomb. Like I use that, that dark brown. This dark brown here at the bottom is like my favorite one out of the color. Because I've never had a dark brown that's so dark and rich. Like the color is super duper rich. I also did get some of their single eyeshadows which are really nice as well. This color is a matte eyeshadow. This is more or less like a navy blue color which is really pretty. And it kind of reminds me of like a navy purple color. Really pretty. This one is 0NM. Another one which is a different, um, is also a matte shadow is this like vibrant is like this vibrant purple one. Now this is the actual casing, so they're really small and sleek. This is the purple. So really pretty purple. I'm not gonna give you guys the finger, but. This one here, which I think is a great fall color or just about any transition color. And it's kind of like a frosted brown color, like a bark brown. Ooh, so pretty. It reminds me of my Rihanna Riri lipstick, Riri 2 lipstick. Really pretty. And there it goes right there. Anyone can never have too many golds. There are like so many different color versions of gold. Some are two gold, some are too light, some are reddish gold. But this is a gold color. Really, really sparkly, shimmery gold. Like really highly pigmented. I did recently wear one of their lipsticks in one of my videos 
and it was more or less a darker color brown and this was a great fall color it's like to me like a warm brown so the colors are on the portion uh, on the bottom so if you are into your lipsticks and you want to be able to see them you could always put them upside down but this is like a kind of like a chocolatey brown but a kind of warm brown kind of reminds me of just like the basic color brown but very very warm color and Another one which is a very bright, kind of like rich red. Reminds me of Lady Danger by MAC. This one like reminds me so much of Lady Danger by MAC. And I don't really wear that one too much, but this one... This one is like a matte color. It's a very matte kind of color. For your eyebrows, they are highly into eyebrows, giving you like those perfect sculpted eyebrows. You ladies know I love my eyebrows. I love me some eyebrows. Some days are really good for me where they go on with like five minutes and I'm like, whoo. So I've been into like certain different eyebrow products lately. I have been, I stay too true to one of my, I just stay true to my eyebrow um, cosmetics. Um, if I like it, I will constantly use it. So over the years, I have been using like the same thing. And then just recently, I kind of left that era of CoverGirl Ink It eyeline, eyebrow pencil. And this is actually, these are eyebrow pencils. So they make them pointy. And it, it reminds me so much of like a lipstick tube. So you can sculpt your brows any which way. you The way you want to draw them on is the way that this is pencil or this this. I would call it a lipstick is designed. So this is one of them. And this is like the um, dark brown or kind of like medium and dark brown. I have two different colors here. But this is basically for your eyebrows. It's really simple to use. It doesn't, the texture does not feel like an actual lipstick. But the concept of it is like a lipstick. And there go the two colors. You probably really can't tell well on camera. But one of them is more or less like a reddish color brown. And this one is more of a medium color brown. So for the blushes, I do have one of the blushes on today. And I like these blushes because for one, if you have a lot of makeup, a huge makeup collection, sometimes those blush casings can be overwhelming. They're too big. They don't fit properly. You can't stack them. They're taking up a lot of space. Well, Black Ops Cosmetics, their blushes are really flat. The casing is sleek. So this gives me a lot more space. If all my blushes was like this, I would be able to pack more makeup in my, my actual makeup collection so this is like a peachy color really pretty peachy and I love colors like this because this is what I wear a lot reminds me a lot of Milani's um, Coral Cove um, but, but it's a really pretty color and I'm gonna switch fingers so that way you guys can see it right here really color pretty color peach but this is like I love peaches or pinks I wear a lot of um, blushes in that color family a reddish color blush I have not tried this one as of yet because was a little bit nervous but I'm pretty sure that if you go lightly with it it won't like be too red so this is like to me like a light color red uh -huh, blush which is a pretty color but it all depends on your skin tone so I'm pretty sure that if I go light with this it won't be too much on my skin but it is a red color and this probably would look really pretty on like darker complexions or even like more warmer complexions as well got a few nail polishes which makes me want to actually do my nails and these nail polishes are like in the color family like that i would choose especially this color here which is a nude color i absolutely love this color um, nail polish i do have one like this which i favor the most because i'm not like a big nail polish wearer but if I do wear a nail polish, I do like for it to be like a neutral color because that way I won't have to change it up so much and I'm able to just wear it with just about anything. Beautiful colors like a kind of like in between a light and medium brown color. I love dark nails, especially for the winter months and also for the summer. A reddish color brown, very dark and vampy, but also very, very pretty and classy as well. First of all, this is their nude lip balm. I like it. Um, I will suggest if getting this to make sure that you kind of like shake it up or kind of move it around um just to get the products to mix you will see like product separation in it a dark color which is right here like a wineish kind of color nude which is absolutely my favorite colors i love anything nude a peachy kind of nude really pretty also
And now, the lip pencil. Black Ops lip pencils are like high quality. I really am feeling these lip pencils. But the color that they sent me is like this gorgeous color, like fuchsia color. Love it. Pretty. Okay, if you guys can see that color, awesome. But there are two things about this that I love. First of all, the size of this lip pencil is amazing. Second of all, when you pop this off, there is actually a sharpener right here okay so then you can pop that off and there goes your lip pencil this color is gorgeous this is like an any type of season color this is so pretty this color is like so gorgeous i think this is like a really popular color because i've seen so many different companies do this type of color the next lip pencil is more or less like a wine color dark vampy wine deep dark vampy wine this is like gorgeous gorgeous this is a gorgeous gorgeous color now i know who would love this color in my household is my daughter tati she just has like the perfect full lips and she does her lipsticks always like so pretty because of her lip shape she would look gorgeous in this color some eyeliner pencils um matte smoky matte pencils waterproof smoky matte pencils i'm thinking this is like the blackish brown black brown one right here they do glide on really smooth and they are matte this one is another waterproof pencil and this one is a brown these would probably also be good as like for your brows as well because they're a matte color, which would be more or less a, a great color. It's a concealer because I love concealer. It's a great highlight and it also gets rid of any type of blemishes. But this is their Radiance Concealer and it's just in a tube and all you would need to do is basically turn it or twist it at the bottom. You don't want to twist too much. In the beginning you would have to, but you don't have to after a while. This concealer kind of looks like to me like the yellow color concealer by um la girl but a better um a better better texture so this is the concealer right here and it's a really easy product to use you don't need much i like the brush and the twist effect in it so you just want to go ahead and just smooth it on lightly of course there are different colors but this is more geared to my color which will give me a great highlight but if you don't want to use a concealer or foundation to do your contouring then they have the contour stick which I was like, okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. So there are two different ends. One is to contour and one is to highlight. The perfect color because this is the color that I use on a daily basis with another makeup brand that I have been using like forever. And this is like the perfect color. So you can twist it up if you want to as well as that as the contouring of the highlighting is at the bottom. And this is from the contouring stick right here. The last product that I'm going to show you is my foundation, which is Full Coverage Cream Foundation. I will be honest and say I do like full coverage, um, only because um, I do love my freckles a lot, but when I don't have makeup on, they really, to me, they scream, hey, here I am. Yes, you see me. Here we are. Here we are today. So I do like to put on enough foundation to where they're blended in somewhat. You still see my freckles, and I'm glad and happy about that because I still want you to. Maybe not on camera. You don't see them. Um, but in person, if you were around me in person, you would see them all the time. But on camera, they probably don't show up as much unless my makeup is like kind of worn off or I don't have any on as yet but this is oil free and this is full coverage cream foundation which is great because I do have oily skin I did use fluid fix fluid um NC42 in matte which is for oily skin and it lasted on my skin the entire day because normally I will sweat off some foundation so this color match is like so good but it's cream foundation in the tube so it you don't need a lot of this and i like cream a lot better because to me it just gives like a better foundation base it's just a really good foundation so right here at the top is my actual foundation color and if anyone is interested in what color i have this is the hc01 um, i do wear different type of foundations meaning i mix them together to get perfect color but this one here is like my perfect color um in the nc42 and mac that was the color that i wore 
um, and it was just like the perfect color. I didn't have to mix it, mix it and mingle it with any other foundation. I would just put that on and my skin was fine. So for this one, I've used this once and I do like it. It does stay on all day. It does give me full coverage. Not that cake face full coverage, but it allows my skin to breathe. And like I said, I want to just hide or just kind of tone down. I rather want to tone down my freckles a little bit. I want you to be able to see them, but I don't want them to be screaming at you when you do see them. So it does tone them down and that's what I look for when I do a foundation. But if you're interested, you can always check their website out. As always, make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. And stay diva and devolicious. And I will speak to you guys on my next video.